Here are some things I'll never do again when I travel and they could save you some stress and headaches as well. Number one is I will never check in a bag. If you follow my channel, you know I always just bring a carry-on and I do this for a few reasons. Number one is to save time. Since I'm usually just traveling for three days and trace nudges, I don't wanna wait in long lines to check in my bag or when I land to wait for my bag to come around the carousel. And this can actually add hours onto your trip because when you are departing, you have to arrive at least an hour before you normally would just to make sure you don't get caught caught in any lines to check in those bags. And then when you arrive, sometimes it can take up to an hour for bags to come out on the carousel. Another reason is because of all the flight delays and cancellations that have been happening. I can't tell you the few times that our flights have been canceled, the frustration that I can see in people waiting to get their luggage and it can take hours and hours and sometimes you have to come back the next day. And if your flight gets delayed, I've seen where if there's connecting flights, you don't get your luggage or you arrive before the luggage gets there and it can really just be a total nightmare. Of course, there's always exceptions to this. Sometimes people have to pack things with them that only go in a checked in bag that they have to bring with them. But I'm telling you, if you can try to do this, it will take so much stress from your vacation. And I do several videos on how to pack a carry-on and to pack light. And if you are new to our channel, Three Days and Trace Noches, we bring you honest reviews, travel tips, and information like this video. So we would appreciate the support so much. Number two is travel with expensive or sentimental jewelry. I just would never wanna risk something getting lost or stolen that meant a lot to me. And I'm thinking really in particular for those honeymooners that bring their really nice engagement rings. I would recommend getting a costume one. There are so many beautiful ones, you can hardly tell that they're not real. In fact, Amazon has a ton of great costume jewelry that I wear all the time that I will list in the description below. Number three, which is similar to number two, is I'll never travel with designer sunglasses or bags for a few reasons. One, again, just risk getting them lost or stolen. And honestly, I'm really not a designer girl anyway. I like to spend my money on travel. But number two, you could really be a target for theft or getting robbed even if you're out walking around the streets and they're seeing that you have very expensive sunglasses or bags. Number four is super important, is I will never book a resort, especially an all-inclusive resort, again, without doing extensive research. And that means more than just checking the TripAdvisor reviews. So one of the first all-inclusives that I ever went to was before starting this channel was an Ibero star in Punta Cana, which got 4.5 stars on TripAdvisor. But when we got there, actually, we did not like it at all. And yes, some people loved it. So it's very important that you go through a system of research to make sure that you're matching yourself and what you like to the best resort for you. And of course, I do a video on this, a very detailed video that I will add to the description so that you can be sure that you pick the best all-inclusive resort that's right for you. And number five is I will never choose a flight with a layover just to save money, especially if you are traveling with children. And I actually did this to my own children the first time that we traveled to the Caribbean to San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is not even a four hour flight from New Jersey. But in order to try to save some money, I did a connecting flight and it ended up being an absolute nightmare because our flight got delayed. We almost missed our connecting flight and all of us had to go running through the airport. It was so stressful and I'm telling you, it was not worth the money that we saved. And next, since we're talking about flights, another thing I will never do again is fly Spirit or Frontier. And I know there are many people that have very nice experiences on both of these airlines, but for me, there's just too many restrictions, especially when it comes to carry-ons and such a huge difference in the overall experience and flight that I'll just never do it again unless I absolutely have to. Number seven, since we're talking about airplanes, is I will never sacrifice comfort over style when I'm choosing an outfit for the airport. And honestly, you really don't even need to do that nowadays because there are so many cute and stylish options out there that are also comfortable. But for me, especially if I'm gonna be sitting on a plane for four hours or more, I need to be comfortable. I wanna be in clothing that breathes. I wanna be able to layer up if I need to. I need comfortable shoes. And we do have an Amazon storefront and I will put that in the description below that has a bunch of ideas for both men and women. Number eight is one that I talk about all of the time on my channel is that I will never wait until I get to the airport to arrange transportation 
from the airport to the resort that I'm going to. So in places like Cancun, Punta Cana, Puerto Rico, the roads can get really crazy. And since I'm usually just going to the resort, maybe doing an excursion here and there, I really don't need a car. So it's just safer for me to get the private transportation, be with someone who knows how to navigate the crazy roads in the country that I'm in. Especially in places like Cancun and Punta Cana, there are a lot of scams out there and they are just waiting to take advantage of first time tourists and it actually happened to me before which is why I always pre-arrange transportation now and I will put in the description some of the partners that we use and number nine is I will never rent a car without doing extensive research about the country that I'm going to and what it's like to actually drive there and there are also a lot of rental car scams out there especially in places like Cancun so if you are going to rent a car Make sure you do that research and you know what you're getting yourself into. Almost done. Number 10 of the things I'll never do again when I travel is use an ATM or debit card to pay for anything while I'm traveling because these are directly connected to your bank account and God forbid if it got lost or stolen or whatever the case may be, then they have access to your bank account that has all your money in it. So what you want to do is travel with credit cards, make sure you notify them of where you are going. That way, if someone gets access to it, it's just the credit and then it's very easy to resolve and let them know that it's been stolen or compromised. Plus, there are a lot of credit cards out there that offer awesome perks and rewards when you use them. So this is something you should start doing anyway because you can start earning free travel by using certain cards, and I will put our favorites in the description below. So another thing I'll never do, in fact, I've never done it, but I see a lot of other people do it, and that is stress out over packing sunscreen just to save money. And look, I get it. The sunscreen at resorts are ridiculously expensive. We're talking like 30 or $40 a bottle. So people often will pack a bunch of sunscreen that they get at Walmart a lot cheaper, but that means you have to check in a bag. And often, almost every airline now, you have to pay for that checked in bag. Not to mention all of the other headaches I mentioned about what can happen when you check in a bag. So some alternatives would be just to pack trial sizes. And again, I know that can get expensive, but they can fit in your carry-on. And also you could buy it at the airport or you could research areas close to the airport on the way to the resort that the driver could stop and you could buy some there. Okay, we're finally at the last two things I'll never do again when I travel. I'm sure there are more and I'm sure there's things that you've learned along the way as well. And I do respond to all comments and questions. So I would love to hear some of your tips as well in the comment section below. Okay, so another thing I'll never do again is buy cheap suitcases. When I first started traveling, I would go to TJ Maxx or Target or something like that and the zippers broke, the wheels were terrible, they were horrible to try to get through the airport. So now I travel with much nicer suitcases, not crazy expensive, but I would say in like the $150 to $300 range, my favorite are level eight and air trunk, and they're holding up very nicely, and I think they're gonna last me quite a while. So I will put links to those in the description as well. Okay, so the final thing that I'll never do again when I travel is travel without a wireless charger. So one time in Cancun, the charging port in my iPhone broke, so I could not charge it. Of course, I'm in a panic, and resorts do not carry wireless chargers. So I had to pay someone to take us off the resort to a store, buy a wireless charger in order to charge it. So now I always travel with one. I actually travel with multiple ones just in case. And I'll put our favorite ones on our Amazon storefront. So I hope you found these tips helpful. And if you did, like I mentioned earlier, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And keep following us at 3 Days and Trace Noches, where we keep bringing you honest reviews, travel tips, and information about the destinations that we go to and show you you can have an amazing vacation in a really short amount of time. And you can also find us on TikTok, Instagram, and we have a great Facebook group as well.